Hey guys, we're out here with Kate Dean at an enhancement job out here learning how to install a planner. Yeah, we had a customer who is really excited about the summer and pool opening this Memorial Day weekend. So they asked us to add a little bit of seasonal color to their locker room entry. So that's what we're gonna do today. Great. So with planters, there's kind of three main components. So the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we have plenty of good plant material, nice and healthy material. We've selected Mandevilla for our centerpieces, which when you're looking at a pot, you always wanna have a thriller, a filler, and a spiller. So that you have lots of depth of color and also lots of visual interest. So we selected a Mandevilla for our centerpiece for our thrillers. We've got some Lantana and some Petunias, which are gonna throw off lots of color. And then for our spillers, we've got Potato Vine and Secretia. So we've kind of got two different color contrasts. Um, all of these are sun loving and heat tolerant because at an area like a pool, you're not sure who's gonna be doing the watering. And if we're relying on lifeguards at a community pool, we wanna make sure that everything's gonna tolerate a little bit of heat and some drought potential. So all of these will thrive in that environment. What we did with our pots is we put drainage rock in the bottom. So plants love water. Mm -hmm. However, they don't like to sit in water, right. most of them. So you wanna make sure that the water will drain off. So we've actually recycled some stone in the bottom of this because nobody's gonna see what it looks like. So we did make sure to use the whole buffalo, so to speak. <laughs> um, and then we've got our leaf grow and topsoil mix. And then we've used some 14, 14, 14 fertilizer, which we use with all of our flower installations. Great. So the first thing we're gonna do is kind of eyeball where we are because these are fresh pots. We wanna make sure that we, we've got a good position for the, the root ball. In this situation, I am, I'm not gonna plant my centerpiece right in the middle of this planter. I'm gonna go to the back okay. so that visually I have enough space for some of my other color in the front. So I'm just gonna kind of figure out where I am there. And then Courtney, if you wanna yep. pick some other plants for us, we're just gonna mix it up. So um, the roots are something called pot bound. So you see how they're growing in a circular manner mm -hmm. around the bottom there. That is something that happens when a plant has outgrown the pot. They can only grow to the space that they mm -hmm. have allowed. So if you don't give them more space to grow, then they're not going to do very well. So you wanna unwrap these roots so that when they get into their new home, this guy will spread out a little okay. bit more. So Kate, how deep do you want your plants to be in the planter? Um, you don't want them to be really, really deep. Roots are kind of lazy by nature. So they want to be able to access the water that comes naturally from mm -hmm. rainwater as much as possible. So you just want them to be right at kind of where your ideal soil level is. I'm kind of trying to gauge for about two inches down from okay. the edge of the pot for everything to kind of end up there so that I can sprinkle my pine pines when I'm done and have a nice little protective light layer of that pine pine mulch on my planter. Great. Now in a lot of our customer situations, they want the most bang for their buck, but you have to be careful not to, you gotta give all of the plants enough room to grow. Mm -hmm. This one is one where I know it's a short, a short term turnaround on this pot. This is meant to last us from now through Labor Day, and okay. that's about it. If I'm planting a larger installation for a more permanent reason, then I'm definitely gonna do that in a, in a different scope and scale so that all of the plants have enough space to spread and sprawl. These are all plants that are going to expire at the end of the season. Mm -hmm. So the last step is a light pine fine mulch. So this is really finely ground mulch, so it doesn't prevent the plants from spreading or getting access to water. Like mulch is too thick and it makes more of a, a net that is difficult for the water to penetrate. So on all of our seasonal color in our pots, we just use a nice pine fine mulch. So that's everything. Now we've got all everything planted, our thrillers, our fillers, and our spillers. And we're just waiting for the warm weather to help these guys bloom. Well, that sounds great. Thanks so much for letting us join you on site today, Kate. Thank you.